So we are in regional lab. Uh, we will be doing ELISA. For that, personal protection is very necessary. You can see we are fully protected. PPP is before that PPE. Everything. In ELISA, we play with sample and reagent in this plate. This plate has 96 well, so it is called 96 well plate. This plate is in the ELISA kit provided by the kit producing company. There are 8 rows, it's A, B, C up to H and there are 12 columns, as 1, 2, 3 up to 12. So there are 96 uh, well in this plate. And for the simplification of the uh, test, there is a rack where the samples are kept, uh, that is serum for now. The configuration of this rack resembles the 96 well plate. And there is a chart that also resembles the 96 well plate so the corresponding leveling of the sample is easy now we have arranged the serum sample in the rack the first four compartments of the sample rack is empty as they are for the control positive and control negative the ELISA kit that we are using today is for PPR it is produced by IDBET which is, which is a company that produces ELISA kit and other stuff like this so these are micro pipette tips that we will be using in the micro pipette and these are micro pipette that we will be using and this one is the multi-channel micro pipette that can transfer reagent into eight wells of 96 well plate at a time so we can adjust the volume from here now coming to the steps of ELISA firstly we have to add reagent to the 96 well plate Firstly, we will add 25 microliter of dilution buffer into the 96 wells, uh, all of them. The dilution buffer is uh, provided by the ELISA kit company and it's in the kit box already, thus we use that. Adjusting it to 25 microliter. Now. Now we will be adding 25 microliter of positive control to the well A1 and B1. So this is positive control. It is provided in the kit itself. So we just use it like that by addition buffer. adjusting it we will be adjusting it to 25 microliter Now we will be adding 25 microliter of negative control to the well C1 and D1. So the negative control is also provided by the kit company in the kit box. So we will be using that as well. So taking the micro pipette, it is already set in 25 microliter. Now we will pour it on C1 and D1. These are the negative controls. Now looking at the 96 well plate, the first row A1, A2, sorry, 
A1 and B1 have positive control and C1 and D1 have negative control like this now we will be adding 25 microliter of each sample to be tested that is serum in the remaining uh, except these fours these uh, except these uh, positive and negative controls so we'll be adding all the samples in the remaining wells Now we will be incubating uh, the oil plate uh, for 45 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Just covering it with aluminum foil and keeping it in incubator for 45 minutes 37 degrees Celsius. We will wash each well three times with uh, 300 microliter of wash solution. The wash solution is also provided with the uh, Eliza kit, but uh, this time we will be using the automated washing machine or washer uh, that already have the same uh, wash solution as provided in the kit. So. We will be keeping it on 300 microliter and the rotation cycle will be for three times. So we'll be starting this. prepare the conjugate solution the 1x conjugate solution uh, is provided uh, in the Eliza kit and we will be using dilution buffer 4 that is provided in the kit itself uh, for uh, diluting it to the 10th time uh, we will making uh, conjugate 10x for that we will be using one part of the conjugate 1x and nine part of the dilution buffer uh, so that uh, the dilution is for 10th time we will be transferring 1 is to 9 ratio into that now we will we'll add 100 microliter of 1x conjugate to each well Just like this, we will be using micro multi channel micro pipette, the prepared 1x conjugate of 10x dilution. Now we will incubate uh, this for 30 minutes at a uh, temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. So let's put it inside the oven for 30 minutes at 21 degrees Celsius. Now taking it out from the incubator. Now we will wash each of the well for three times with 300 microliter of.
solution like previous washing similar procedure the wash solution is provided in the light jacket but we are using the automated washer similar 300 microliter three cycles after washing we will add 100 microliter of soft stress solution to each well uh, the soft stress solution is also provided with the Eliza kit so we will use that this is the soft stress solution so we will be using multi channel micro pipette Now we will again incubate this for 15 minutes at 21 degrees Celsius in dark. So taking it into the incubator, wrapping with the aluminium foil. So let's keep it inside the incubator for 15 minutes. This is the last incubation that we are doing. Now we will add 100 microliter of stop solution to each well to stop the reaction. So taking it out from the incubator, then we will add stop solution. The stop solution is also provided with the Eliza kit itself. So here we add stop solution in each well of the 96 well plate. Again, we are using multi-channel mono micro pipette. Now, what will we do? Now we will be uh, reading and recording the optical density of the uh, samples that we have uh, done with the ELISA uh, at, uh, at the illuminations of uh, 450 nanometer. So we have a optical density reader or you can call it spectrophotometer or something like that. It just uh, reads the optical density. just uh, keeping the sample and setting it to PPR antibody we are doing the test for PPR so just starting the reading is like this uh, it will show the optical density of the each compartment, each well. So we can transfer it uh, into the Excel. Now for the result interpretation and its validation. And the result is valid if the optical density of the negative control is greater than 0 0.7 and the ratio of optical density of the positive control to the negative control is greater than 0 0.3
between 50 to 60 then it is doubtful if it is greater than 60 then it is negative so this is how the result is interpreted uh, the SN value is calculated from the uh, optical density that we get from the uh, spectrophotometer or the or the optical density measuring equipment that we used previously so this is how LISA is done thank you